Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. We summer is here and it's time to hit up the beach and relax in the sun. And I wanted to do a video for all you girls that want to know how to do an effortless beach makeup. So here's a video just for you. First and foremost, I'm going to take my sunscreen and I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you guys how important sunscreen is. I'm using this breakout free sunscreen and this is actually Steve's favorite and I'm going to lather it all over my face, let it absorb and this is just going to protect me from the harmful sun rays. Next, I'm going to take my BB cream and I'm going to stay away from liquid foundation because it can get pretty cakey and it's too heavy for the beach. So I'm just going to blend that BB cream everywhere and the awesome thing is the BB cream has SPF too so you have more protection. If you feel like you need more coverage, you can always take your setting powder, a lightweight powder and just brush it on top of your BB cream or your concealer. For my eyes, I'll be taking this 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow by Bare Minerals and this one has SPF 15 in that eyeshadow which is pretty cool and I'm just going to apply that on my eyelids and blend it with my fingertips. So I like to go with very natural looking eyeshadow colors for the beach. Now for a pop of color, I'm going to apply this bronze eyeshadow on my eyelids and I would suggest using cream based eyeshadows just because it sticks on your eyes all day long. The eyeliner is optional, but if you guys can't live without the eyeliner like me, then take a liquid eyeliner, which is possibly waterproof so it can stay throughout the day, um, even through the heat and the sweat. For the mascara, of course, I'm going to be using a waterproof mascara. This one is the Big Look Waterproof Mascara by Pure Minerals and I'm just going to apply this mascara on my upper lashes. Um, I'm not going to apply it on my lower lashes because I don't want it to smear on my lower lash line by the end of the day. It's always nice to have a nice bronzy glow for the beach, so I'm going to take this bronzer without any shimmer and brush that above my cheekbones. You can also apply it on the sides of your temples and your jawline if you wish. On the lips, I would suggest using a tinted lip balm. I'm using Sugar Lip Treatment with SPF 15 which nourishes my lips and also gives it a nice color. For my hair, I'm going to do the heatless curls today. So if you have some time in your hands, then you might want to do this um, for the beach. So I'm just going to brush my hair first and make sure there's no tangles. You want to do this when your hair is damp and if it's not, you can spritz some water just so the curls come out really nice. Um, once you're ready, you can take a section of your hair, twist it, and then you can put it in a little bun, almost like a bantu knot. Once you've fully coiled it around, you can take a bobby pin or a clip to secure it and keep it in place. Then I'm going to take another section and do the same thing. So I'm just going to twist it first and then coil it into a little bantu knot. So I'm just going to repeat the same process all over my head. And if you want smaller, thicker curls, you can do smaller sections. If you want bigger, wavier curls, then you can do bigger sections. Make sure you don't blow dry the knots or you have frizzy curls. So while I wait, I'm just going to take this Nail Teeny Mango Rita nail polish and just touch up my nails and make them look perfect. Before heading out to the beach, I like to make sure that my skin looks nice and healthy. So I apply Lavaline's Jaboba Cream um, before and also after the overexposure to the sun, which hydrates my skin and also restores the skin's natural luster. Once I've released my curls, I'm going to take Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray, which conditions my hair, nourishes, and also protects from environmental damage. So now my hair is beach ready. And lastly, for all those who love to tan, here's Hang 1008's Tanning Oil, which I've been using lately, which is organic and rich with vitamins and antioxidants. That's it for my effortless beach beauty look. Just remember that less is more when you go to the beach. So until next time, take care and bye-bye.